Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, gang? Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network, your boy Mark Walter Ward. Um, we got the artist formerly known as Slick Pu- uh, Slicks. See, man, I'm already gonna mess it up. It's Slick Puller. And, and I, I put too much pressure on myself to get it right, bro. You know how that be. Oh, man, you good, man. Let it flow, man. Let it flow, man. Breathe, baby. You good? Uzi <laughs> Yahoo. Yep, Uzi Hala Yahoo. Yeah. That means um the most high is my strength and praise Yahoo. Yeah. Which is another way of saying God, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, words like God, Lord, and all those kind of words, those are actually titles. He, he has a specific name. Like when you read throughout the scriptures, he, um, you'll see scriptures where it says, um, if you praise his awesome name, you know what I'm saying? So they let me know that, okay, if you got God right there and then you say praise his awesome name, then that's just where it let me know that something's been removed. Uh, that's not his name because it's saying worship his awesome name. God is just a title, you know what I'm saying? And really, when you get into the etymology of words, you'll see that words have been put in to really throw things off and make you be talking to somebody who you think you're talking to, but you're not, you know what I'm saying? We'll get into that as later, but just for right now, you'll just know that words like God and Lord, those are titles. Those aren't actual names. Just like if um, a person was talking to a king, he'd be like, hi, my Lord. But that doesn't mean that's, his, that doesn't mean that's the king's name. You see what I'm saying? Now I get you. I get you. That, yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 that's profound because I, I I can see the implication in that. But um, yeah. you, you know, before we get in all that though, you know, we always gotta plug the music. You know, I, I I I saw you from um Blood Raw put up the concert flyer, and, and you know, I hadn't heard nothing since uh Fourth Ward Day Two. You know, which was actually mm-hmm. the first thing I ever heard Rich Homie Quan on, which is neither here nor there. But um, so I I, I was unaware that, that that you had uh. Und- undergone this uh well clearly life change artistry change so 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 like a I, since i'm a i'm a big fan i ain't too cool to say that I, I i was happy i was happy to find true scriptures your latest project i mean what what, what is it like three four months old yeah yep three four months old yeah mm-hmm. and and you know it's like it's under your, your your new name but it's it, it's just incredible music like I, I i guarantee i've listened to it like six times since yesterday so thank um, you man appreciate that Oh no! Th- th- thank you. And um, you know, you you got you got a song on there called Epiphany, which is a little explanatory. But I was just curious, in, in general, what 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 led to this uh change in in, in you as a, a a person, a man, a, a artist? Because it, it all seems to be uh, like how would they say holistic, like intertwined? Right. It, it it's just um, it's just like in life, man. You know what I'm saying? Like um. You can't, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just like it's a proverb that, that says, just like a dog, a fool returns to his vomit. It's like we have to, we have to go somewhere else. If we stay in the same ways that we were in when we were, when, or when we were younger, or when we didn't know any better, then we'll just keep reproducing that. You see what I'm saying? It's like at some point, it has to be some kind of elevation. You know what I'm saying? Some people may not feel like that. I just feel like that's what men do. You know, real men don't stay the same way forever. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you change, you be, hmm? I, I, I'm, I'm going to be a real man, bro, because, like, you know, well, well, first you made this, because I ain't going to lie, I kind of need your help a little bit. But um, f- first you made this sta- a statement on that Beehive interview you did, which everybody should go check out. It, it's, it's in his link tree. I'll, I'll put a link in the uh, in the show notes. But uh, you said that you that, that you weren't going to sell your soul to make it. So take out the sell your soul part. No, you too. You Barbecue I'm listening to you, bro. Sorry about that. It's all I'm good. It's all good. So, so take out the sell your soul part. I, I feel that you definitely made it because you, you, you're you're a leader of men and, and you're somebody that's admirable. So so like no matter what, like I, I you, you, man, you made it. You're someone to look up to. I mean, anyone who listens to true scriptures can start seeing the not the writing that's on the wall, but the writing that's behind the wall a little bit. And, um, yeah. you know, from looking at your Instagram and, and, and things that you've shared on social media, you know, you, you don't just, you know, make this, uh, quote unquote, pro black music or, 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 or whatever. Like, like you, you, you show avenues and you create paths. I mean, I see you got the CBD brand and everything. 
and uh, yeah, you, yeah. And, you, and you know me 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 personally I, I I did time I've been in solitary you know I've been involved in like kick those and shit like that and and I ain't gonna lie like like it still fucked my head up like I still feel guilty about it and I find I find I find it difficult to get over that and, and I was wondering if you had any advice yeah man that um when, when I'm situation like that man I have a lot of situations like that man you know what I'm saying I have guilt about um situations with my children man you know leaving them you know what I'm saying um leaving relationships you know what I'm saying and sometimes I feel like I let a lot of people down you know what I'm saying but what I got to do is um, when I feel like that and I'm sure that's how you feel sometimes you know what I'm yeah. saying you feel like you got to give it to God man you got to give it to the most high because we all make mistakes, man, but but it's about how we, you know what I'm saying, correct ourselves and how we be from that point. That's why it's that's why I'm doing the things I'm doing now, because I can't keep hurting everybody like that. Like I got family, I got friends who 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 I actually hurt. That last time I went to prison, I actually hurt people. Like they was actually hurt. Like the first year I came home, nah, nah, nobody nah, was nah, even nah, treating. Nah, I, I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. That's yeah, that shit. It, yeah, yeah man, man, it, it kills me. Yeah, I, I did I did know, bro, I did hurt somebody. I came home because I'd be home two years in March. The first year, nobody was even treating me the same. You know what I'm saying? It was like people, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they, like they, people were mad at me and I didn't even know it until I came home. You know, people was like, man, you hurt me this time. And whoop the whoop the whoop. And I had to like rebuild relationships. I got to still, like, like, I got to be home at least three years so people can relax again because you got to think, bro, since I did that first bid, I hadn't been home no more than. A year and a half before I got locked up again. Damn. And you put all that music out with all that going on? Because, like, to be real yeah. with you, like, like I, I ain't never followed none of the messy or ratchet shit, like, from the blog era to the magazine era. Like, like I, 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 I know the music. Like, I never, I, I ain't, I, I, I ain't checking for who going to prison and shit. Like, you know, that, that ain't on my agenda. Like, so I wasn't yeah, really man, I hip just, to that. I, I just knew the music. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was thankful that I had my friend put on tone, my childhood friend put on tone, who I ran the prestige company with, who's still one of my best friends to this day. He was able to orchestrate things and put the music out, you know, and, and keep the music fed. But just think, though, bro, all that good music, if I would have been on the street to push that music, who knows what would be going on right now. But then I don't think about that too tough because I know that everything, that, I always remember this, bro, the good and the bad is for his divine purpose. Sometimes he takes you somewhere to bring you somewhere. You see right. what I'm saying? It's all for his divine purposes, all to get you to come to him. So, like, if you start getting too pompous on your own, or things start going too good, and you're thinking you're doing it, so you're going to get lost anyway. Because you're going to think you're doing something. Right. So, so that's why sometimes I got to remind you that, hey, man, I, got, I do this. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you were first found that out, the, the the people was hurt by you being go gone and then like you said that you gotta be home for three years before they even feel comfortable and and, and, you, and you said still like so so what like like fit the fit the the, the working out help like how, how how do you deal with that because you know i i got like sober and stuff too you know uh, yeah man working out is kind of like my um working out is kind of like you know what i'm saying that's my tranquility you know what i'm saying that's how that's how I, you know what I'm saying? That's how I meditate and get myself together, man. And, and man, it, it's just, um, I'm addicted to it, bro. It's just like, um, you got to realize when I started working out, the first time when I finally started going to the gym, I went to the gym at a low point. That's what I said, I'm going to start working out. You see what I'm saying? Things, when I came home, things weren't going the way I wanted them to go. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I got to do something. And I started working out. And I never stopped. Since then, I've never stopped. I see, man. All, all y'all go check out that black video. But I seen that big ass tire you were standing next to. You be flipping that thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the footage of me flipping that guy. Yeah, man, that tire get flipped all the time. Yeah, we finna go flipping in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know about that it, bro. I got, I got, I got one in the yard. But yeah, we do the burpees on the thing. We do a burpee, come down. We do a burpee, jump on it, jump down, then flip it. You know what I'm saying? We nah, nah, you going harder time. than me. All I do is flip that jump. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta try it. to go jump up on it. Like like a little mini box jump, jump up on the jump down, then do a burpee. Then you come up, flip. Good burn. All you gotta do is do it like five times. Well, I mean, since we got into the fitness, we can get back into into the in the into the deeper things in a minute. Cause like you know, your your, your Instagram, which will be tagged on the audio pod, um, you know, it's it's it's, it's fitness related. So uh, what, what 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 what's some fitness advice? Like me personally, um, I mess with the heavy bag, and I try to do variations of the big five at, in, across different modalities. You know. You know, squat, yeah, deadlift, the, um, military heavy press. Is, um, heavy bag is good. I suggest every now and then, you know what I'm saying, once, um, I don't do weights a lot. 
I might do weights like once a week or something like that. Yeah. You know, not, well, not, yeah, maybe like once or twice out of the week. Or if I do, or if I do do weights, I do functional training with the weights. Like I may do instead of a barbell curl, I may do. I may or when I'm curling it, I may be lunging, then come up, curl it. Lunge, you know what I'm saying? I'm always doing two things at one time because I like to. Because my whole thing is functional. I like to right. be able to move high, move low, come up, get down. You know what I'm saying? I try to tr actually. It's like I'm training for combat. You know what I'm saying, but but I'm not. I'm, but but that's just what I like to work out to be functional. You know what I'm saying? Just that standard laying down, pumping. It's 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 kind of boring to me. Nah, I, I feel you, man. Like some of that's that because you know I, I done did my fair amount of time too. And some of that's like 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 you feel like you just gotta stay ready. Like like that shit right. just that shit just never leaves you. But but in another right. way, I want to ask you what you think of this statement though, because like bro, you know I I grew up in D.C. during the crack era. Um, it, it, you know, obviously I'm white or whatever, but it, it ain't, you know, I've been stabbed, hot hood, did time, solitary confinement, rough rides in the, in the paddy wagon, all that type shit. Um, and, but in some ways, like, like you said, you said God put us where we need to be. Like we wouldn't be who we are. If we didn't go through it. And sometimes I feel like the, 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 the people from the trenches, at least the ones that make it out, the strength that that gives you is like a greater blessing than wealth ever could be. It is. It definitely is. It definitely is. It definitely is, but um, you're right on point with that. Like, like um, you know, we got to realize first of all, money is money is fiat currency. It's not based on anything. First of all, we got to realize that. So therefore, we should be putting all our all in the money. Well, actually, bro, money like I, 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 I hate to correct you, but it, it, it's based on our, our belief, which is even more tenuous than nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um but you absolutely right not, though but a lot of people we put our we put our all into the money you know what I'm saying money is a language uh, un unfortunately in in this country we in we have to have we, we have to have the dollar bill right you know what I'm saying just to be able to do what we need to do but you you don't put your you don't put your all into it and you put your all into your morals you put your all into your integrity money's just a language it's just a language barrier you know what I'm saying I, I it's like a key I needed to open I need this much to open this door. I need this much to open that door. But you don't base your life around it and you don't sacrifice and um you don't sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Yah's law for it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't do anything for money to the point where you don't put yourself out of accordance with him. Right. Out of your you know character what I'm and all that. Yeah. Once you've done that, you've put yourself in the in the adversary's hands. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, you put yourself in another realm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we might be off putting the people with some of this, but I don't care. Like, I know exactly what you mean. That's when you let that demon energy in and then, then you exactly. can get then you can get consumed with like material lust or all kinds exactly. of vices. Exactly. You don't you don't you don't disrespect your creator for money. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you look through the scriptures, like, um, a lot of people who worship y'all was well off, but uh, but but they gave. They gave the people they gave to the less fortunate and they didn't sacrifice his laws for it. And and the the result was like uh, it seemed to me a much more well adjusted society than what we have today. Like like without getting into no, well actually whatever it, whatever whatever it gets into, you know, it's, it's no question that things are messed up. But like I'm curious, like I, I I damn sure don't know the answer. The one thing I know is is that uh black people need white people to stop telling them what they need to do. Black people are perfectly capable of figuring out what they need to do on their own. But uh. What, what what does victory look like? Like like a good America? Like like what what would that even like like if we got this shit right, but we still maintain military, so so you know we was had the same level of safety. What how, how does that even happen? What, what does that look like? Well, like well um um complete victory is um you know everybody everybody in accordance with the, everybody in accordance with his law. His law is love. So if if it was love. But you have things placed into this, into this world that, 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 that like, what's so crazy about it is it's like the things that's, pro the, the things that's wrong with this world is so deep rooted where things can't be changed fully until prophecy has been fulfilled. But what we can do as people to each other, we can, re we can respect his laws and start doing his laws for real. Let go, uh, let go of all this, um, um, let go of all this subliminal paganism and let go of all this outright paganism. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, start giving and start loving each other more. Start respecting each other more. 
You know what I'm saying? That's about the most we can do at this point. And it may not be as a whole, but when I'm in your presence or when you're in my presence, it's love and respect. You know what I'm saying? Or when I'm in, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? We can do it amongst the everyday man. We won't be able to change this whole situation as a whole. The evil in this world has been too deep rooted now. You see what I'm saying? We must wait for prophecy to fulfill. But until then, we can show love amongst each other and show love to each other and do good business by each other. All those things. Y'all is love. So spread love. So speaking of speaking of good business, tell me about the CBD line. Okay, well, well um, it's actually it's called I mean Essentials, and it's a and um, I started out with the I started out with a sports recovery line because I'm into the fitness. Of course, I'm going to go into um, you know um, like skin stuff, um, you know, like 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 stuff for the skin and the hair and you know that stuff made from all natural products. But but I have the CBD. Sports, the um, I have the CBD ointment as well as the non CBD, and then I have the liniment, you know what I'm saying? So, these are just things where, like, you know, um, a lot of those things people put on their body they have chemicals in them. So, when those are into your skin, you're putting chemicals into your skin. But when you go on the website and you look at the ingredients, all this stuff is natural, you know what I'm saying? We got to get back more on the natural, you know, they've seen us chemicals, they've been feeding us chemicals since we've been born, you know what I'm saying? So, I just try to come up with a way to, um, you know what I'm saying? I just come up with, and then also I have a scripture on there. What what is um was really dope is Jubilees 10, verse 12 and 14, when they were saying, and we gave to Noah all the herbs for the um all the herbs as medicine for all diseases. So now we know that herbs can cure herbs was used, herbs and natural things we was used to cure diseases. That's why I put that on that. The, the um that's why I got a script on the left. So when you read it, you'd be like, oh, so herbs and stuff was originally used for healing, for medicines. I I, I don't know the word, but you, they made a, a what was I don't know I don't know how to say it because I ain't never heard nobody say it, but it's p o u l t i c e like a poultice, but it'd be made out of herbs and they put it on wounds to, for healing. Right, right, okay, poultice, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you, how you say to pronounce it, it's, it's probably poultice, but yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, bro, I, I, ain't, I ain't running circles where people use them words a lot, like, you know, going to jail and shit. Like, I read books, and I, I, I learned the meaning of a word, but I never heard it pr pronounced aloud, you know? Exactly. So, you know, you know, the coming of chemicals and the use of, um, and the use of other things, that was done by man. man. A man decided to make medicines and stuff not be by natural stuff. You see what I'm saying? Nah, well, so, can, can can I add to that a little bit? Like, and if you, if you know this already, please excuse me. But, you know, there's a loophole in America and, and look on the back of any shampoo, deodorant, anything y'all got that they can they can put things that are literally considered poisons in other countries, that, but they're labeled as proprietary and it says fragrance. There'll be an ingredient. I don't, I don't care what brand of shampoo mm -hmm. you got. And they'll call fragrance or something it's not it, that it, every time it just says fragrance and whatever's whatever's in fragrance has been deemed to be proprietary in the fda which is a bullshit organization <laughs> as it is um exactly. ha ha hasn't inspected it so that means it's double worse and when people have done chemical tests on like the uh fragrance and, and johnson and johnson's baby powder they actually have a <clears throat> different they have a different recipe for johnson's and johnson's in europe M many things have a different recipe in europe because uh, it, it's they put they put shit in the American version that's cheaper, but it's also toxic, and and that's mm. not that's not conspiracy theory. That's like proven fact. Like just yeah, yeah. Like, like anyone anyone on whatever search engine you believe in, look up what is fragrance in my shampoo, and and you'll mm. be you'll be amazed at what you find out. So that's yeah, why. Yeah. So so beyond like spending money in the community, that's why people need to shop with people like you because they don't understand. Like earlier you said about the skin. The, the, the harm that these chemical products are, are, are doing to us. That's why you see more autism, more more everything, more cancer. Yeah, and what's crazy about that, they put in the shampoo, right? That's going right to your head. That's absorbing right in your skull, right in your head. They 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 attacking the head ASAP. Yeah, everywhere they, every they, they can, brother. <laughs> They're going straight to your head. With it. Like, but, 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 we, but, 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 but we want your head. Kill the head, the body die. It's all game, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, that's what it is. That's why I say this stuff is so deep rooted. Like we can't change it. We just got to do better amongst ourselves. Man, sp speaking of uh, you know, like like deep. You, um, on, on one of your interviews, I heard you say something about like it, it been kind of easy to make some of the earlier music, like ABC, just filling in the blanks to you. But you also said at the same time you didn't like when people 
what, what was making music that was just making it seem like it was all like a night in the club. And I know what you mean. Like I used to call that people who only rap about the good of all evils. They never talk about the bad of all yeah, evils. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nobody talking about what they went through. Like, 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 like you just lost, you know what I'm saying? Like five homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Five homeboys, what's going on? But you kicking it like, you know, we turned up. No, we're not turning, we just took L's, you know what I'm saying? But, and that's what misleads a person. And that's what misleads a person to jump into stuff and not know what's going on. I, I mean, if you're going to talk about that, then say, then talk about it all around the board. Say, say everything that can happen. Just don't tell nobody a piece of what can happen. Just don't tell nobody about no money. Or just don't tell nobody about no jury. Just don't tell nobody about nothing like that. Tell somebody about the L's. So, so a person can make a choice. I mean, ain't nobody never wake, woke up in no Bugatti. Or, or, or at least they didn't know right. that there was a possibility in their life that they could wake up in a Bugatti. You know, like you right. wasn't just in the hood one day and you woke up in a Bugatti. Or, or, right. or, or, or if you did, you need to patent whatever the fuck you did. Exactly. So, so give, give, a, give, give a youth an option. You know what I'm saying? Because when you grow, you know the real. So you listening to it, but you know what really going on. Uh, but uh, but as far as the youth, you got to give them an option. You got to give them a thought option. You know what I'm saying? You got to say the good and the bad. You can't just say the good and you can't just say the bad. You got to say the good and the bad. You can't just leave it out. Because when you leave stuff out, that's when you're misleading somebody. You make, if, if you're saying the good and ain't putting the bad, now you making somebody think it's sweet. Now this young dude, Jeff out here, he want to get on the mound. First day, you know what I'm saying? This happened. He didn't know. And there was never no, there was never no need for him to be out there. Like I'm not, like where, exactly. I'm from, where I'm from, bro. Motherfuckers hustled like literally to turn their light lights on, like off the no bullshit with heat in the winter. Like like like, exactly. like like where I grew up at, bro. Like hardly anybody had cable. The kid who had cable had everybody watching TNT, the NBA game at their house. You feel me? We all yeah. we, we all chipped in to, to rent the Tyson fight. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we just gotta. I feel like when you were MC, you you are a um. You are a new um. It's kind of like a, a um urban news reporter. That's why I call myself the ghetto griot, because you know what I'm saying. If I'm the voice box of the block, then I then 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 like I've said before several times, like like I have to let somebody know what's going on all around the board. I can't just be you know what I'm saying because that's my that's my duty now. I've, I've given myself a duty. I'm an MC. I use the microphone. So now I put myself in a position where I have to tell people, you know what I'm saying? I put myself in a position where I have to tell people where, where I'm a I'm a person who's giving information. So I got to give all the information, not just some of the information, but all the information. Or else then I'm doing the people in I'm doing the people of injustice who's listening to me. Right, right. Now I like how you said you wasn't gonna like like I mean, there's many ways that you can one can sell their soul, but like I, I liked how you said on, on another thing, like as your beliefs started to change, you was like. What legacy am I leaving by, by 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 this song? But I got I, I encourage people to do, you know, wrong shit. But 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 I got some money, so the legacy is the money. Like I I don't, I don't want that to be my legacy. I, I found I found that that uh, you know, I found that to be highly admirable. But but you know, the, that 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 last question was kind of a two parter because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna begin to act like I know what was in your head, but what you were projecting to the world. I noticed like your mu your, your music kind of went from. Originally, it was more just like reporting, and you was kind of unfazed at the events. But then it turned into like like commentary that got deeper and deeper to the point mm. that like like you know a lot of times when people label their mute their, their album as scriptures, like I think they're being pretentious. There ain't nothing scriptures about it except for maybe the font on the cover. But like mm. like, like I feel like scriptures of truth is a is a well earned title because I mean it it, it, comp it contains so many truths on so many levels from like the social engineering done in the black community to how uh being taught materialism at a young age can can lead one to 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 make the wrong choices that last you forever i mean i got a mm -hmm. I, I got a drug felony in virginia that that can never be expunged because virginia doesn't expunge drug felonies under any circumstances mm. so so like 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 like, like I, I feel i feel the truths so so d did you perceive yourself as 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 a or did you witness the evolution as that as such? Did you agree with that statement? And did that have anything yeah, to do with yeah, the continual yeah, 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 changes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you said that, you instantly set my mind into thinking about that. So it's like, yeah, when I first came out, you you, you know, four four day, I'm you can smell the trench on us. We wild young bucks off the of back streets, we pitching the click. You know what I'm saying? Then it slowly goes from that to songs like front page news, which is on four four day two. Well. I'm talking about what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Because what was going, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, check that song out, you know what I'm saying? I know you listen to it, but just particularly check that one out. You got the front page news, and then now you go from front page news, and then you go to songs like 
song that was on the Free Slick EP, which was songs um, the um, first one in the Slick where, where you had um the Republican song where I'm like um from the heart of the city was where, um, brothers is grimy and gritty, not a pot to piss in. That's what we pitch at the pen. You know what I'm saying? It starts going from there. It's like it's like I'm starting to, the. It, the, the the whole evolution is beginning. You got songs like Martin and Malcolm, what I did with South Boy. Now um, we're here. You know what I'm saying? With scriptures of truth. Now now we're going to next EP, No Country for the Wicked. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, who um you, you know what wherever y'all takes me from there. You know what I'm saying? But I feel exactly what you're saying. That was a good analysis. You know what I'm saying? I uh, appreciate it, man. I can't wait to hear No Country for the Wicked. I I, I just got two things and, and, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you get out of here. Man, bro, you you got me thinking. You keep getting me knocked off the jump, and then some of the stuff I was gonna ask you, you you, you answered naturally. Is is it's like symbiotic. The um the ghetto Gria. Oh um oh the other thing I want to know about scriptures of truth. Um the, the the production. I mean, not not that you ever had bad bad production. Some of the production, you know, uh, sounds of its era as it should. But scriptures of truth seem to be uh. I mean, soulful is such an overused word, but but I, I guess that soulful would be the best word. Like like yeah, like, yeah. like like it'd be emotional without without vocals. Yeah, see, that's the that's my sound. You 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 um, see what I'm saying? Like a lot of the music I did with with with, with um CTE, I'm a very I'm a very ambidextrous artist, so I can do what I do because I was raised I raised up listening to the greats. You see what I'm saying? Like I raised up listening to. Some uh, some of the hardest MCs on the planet, you know what I'm saying? I heard them all. I, I listened to them. Nas, Jay Z, UGK, um, the the um list goes on. Um, Tribe Called Quest, um, shoot, um, Souls of Mischief, you know what I'm saying? Outcast. I, 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 I heard you said Keith Murray on one John. I know about that yeah, old Keith, Keith Murray. Keith Murray was one of my favorite MCs when I first started rapping. I used to um, I used to I used to I used to use the vocabulary like that. Like I'd be like um, I'd be projecting not rhymes that tangled the mind of Professor X. Cowboys better run cause I'm slashing like Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? I pull I pull strings like Magneto. You know what I'm saying? I was that was my style. You know what I'm saying? So like you got to realize Damn, I'm a combination. Up. I'm a combination of. All the stuff, even even the music now, because I've been I've been loving music the whole time. Like a lot of guys who are rapping now, they don't really love music. They they trying to hit a lick because yeah. they kind of and reason why they doing it is because they look because they assumed different eras didn't love music. Like when we came out and we was doing the music the way we was doing it, they didn't know that we were really MCs and 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 um, we from the trenches, but we really MCs and this is lyrical trap music. They looked at it like we was probably just some dudes like, hey, but we finna hit a lick real quick. So that's why you got a lot of guys just they they like, hey man, I really don't care about no music. I'm just gonna put these words together and get some money. But see, I really love music. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Nah, nah, I, I I can tell. I can definitely tell. Cause I mean, I mean, bro, like I, I I don't know how old you are or nothing, but like you, you've been getting better for like 20 years. And like most people, like they 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 hit a curve and they either plateau or start getting aggressively mediocre. And um I I feel like the reason why that that I get better is because what I do, because I'm not latched into a system. See, the system makes it boring. I, I can see how that can happen because when I had, because we had the situation with Dev Jam when I was recording my music, I felt like I was doing a science project. Uh, you see like, what I'm saying? So, so it, was, it was like an algorithm without an algorithm. Like they just thought they knew the algorithm. Right, right. So, see, I put it to you like this: when you drop that first album, boom. Okay, now, because you're constantly trying to satisfy somebody else to get it out. So now it's not it's not it's not like it was when you was first rapping when you loved music. But see, I don't have to turn anything in to anybody. I don't have to get any approval. I don't have to get any approval for, for 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 a release. I don't have to play this. I don't have to have this person to like it for me to even put it out. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm getting better because I'm not lashed into anything. I'm free flowing. Only thing I'm lashed into is Yah and His law and His statutes. That's that's the only thing. I was already brought at a price, so I've never so 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 I'm not to be a slave to a man. So that's why I'm gonna always have a little upper hand because I just go in and do what I do. I'm I'm having fun. I don't have to turn this project in by next week. I, it ain't no pressure. Right now, I, I I can dig it. And you know, we, we talked about a lot of I I, won't, I ain't gonna say negative, but like disturbing truths. So I I like to close on something positive because I know I know you always got a good word too. So what, what man, give me give me give me some good words, brother. Cause uh, I I I do appreciate that advice you gave me earlier. I'm gonna uh, replay that and take that to heart. 
Hey man, the um, best advice I can give, you know what I'm saying, is um, you know, keep y'all first, spread love, man. You know what I'm saying? Be uh, be a person who um remember the humble will win, the meek will inherit the earth. That's for real. Everything, you know, you know, sometimes we look around in this world and we see and, and we see things, we like, why is things like that? We just gotta stay down. We're gonna come up and just stay down and come and watch the money run up. You know what I'm saying? We're we gonna stay down and come up and watch the blessing and watch the blessings go up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And instead, instead of uh butchering your name again, I, I'm I'm gonna uh introduce you as uh, you know, they say uh, I think Confucius said a man who has a how always has a why. And, and, and I, I salute you for finding purpose on this earth. And, and thank you for your time, brother. And I appreciate you. And I thank you for your time, bro. For real. Appreciate it, man. Oh, no doubt, man. If there's ever anything I can do. And please hit me when you release new music. Because like, like I said, I, I did like six days of slick pillar research when I should have been doing, you know, the the, the, the the new music research. But oh, no, it's all good. Matter of fact, send me your email. I'll send you some, um, 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 I'm going to send you an exclusive track. Or from the um, or from the um, no country for the wicked EP. I'm gonna send you one. What I got? I'm seeing you two. I'm gonna send you one called um, um, no country for the wicked with with my brother beloved Dau, and then I'm gonna send you another one called the scripts. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you those two songs. Send me your email as soon as we finish the thing, and I'm gonna send those to you tonight. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. We'll shoot Mark Mark Ward, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network, and one more thing, man. Shout out Blood Raw. Shots out to the homie B. Rothstein, man. You know what it is. Like I say, about to be back in the Chevy, back in the streets, man. Getting the hood through the door this time, though. We're going hard. And, and, and I know you're going to Trojan horse some knowledge in with that, too. So that's what's you up. You already know what it is. You, you, you heard what I said? Trying to get the hood through the door. You know we you know we working two ones. You know we working two moves. You know what's going on. <laughs> yes, sir, man. I appreciate it. This has been one of my favorite episodes ever, man. You have a good night and take it light, brother. Uh, you too. All right. Peace. Peace.